that's probably why Rory Sutherland said management consultants will hate this book while secretly agreeing with it. If the world's uncertain, that creates kind of anxiety or trepidation by a lot of people in operating this environment, especially if they're not comfortable with adaptation. So what happens as a result is that they seek out comfort, even if it's false comfort. So whether it's a law that simplifies something, maybe it's a model or framework, maybe it's a consultant, maybe it's a vendor who's promising the world, right? There's different, I would call sort of proxy purchases that sort of help comfort them in this inherently uncertain environment. How do we comfort these people but still with the knowledge of embracing uncertainty for what it is. Like, where do we find that balance? Because when I've told some brutal truths, you know, in consulting or advisory, you know, they don't want to hear it. And then they don't want to hire you because you're, you're too on the money and the truth. Like there are certain lies people kind of want to be told or sort of half truths. So I find I've got to water that down depending on what that person's like and how much they want to embrace uncertainty or want the raw truth. But I find that's very, 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 very rare. Most of them sort of want this rosier view of, of reality. Critique me here, but I, I think it's a, a successful sell to sell something. It's like, hey, well, you've hired me as a consultant. I don't know either, but hey, we're going to find out. Like versus Dunning-Kruger types who come in, you know, I've worked at, you know, these big brands and I've worked in this for 30 years. Oh, yeah, yeah I know exactly what to do, you know. They don't, but that's who they purchase off. I think that's probably why Rory Sutherland said, you know, he wrote on the cover of the book, management consultants will hate this book while secretly agreeing with it. You know, I think it, like that's the cover, that's the cover quote on the book. It's a very interesting challenge. I have a, a odd fascination with the consulting industry. I kind of unwittingly became a part of it while simultaneously kind of loathing it. And it just has a really weird set of anti-gravity dynamics. So like if you're an investor, for example, I just think about like the big short or whatever it was called that book. If you're an investor and you're right and everyone else is wrong and everyone thinks you're wrong, that's how you make the biggest return of all time. If you're right and everyone else is wrong, you become a billionaire. If you're a consultant and you're right, and everyone else thinks you're wrong, you get fired for being wrong because you're wrong. Because hiring consultants isn't really about adding value. It's about adding validation. You know, or it's about them telling you what they want you to do and you doing it for them. To your point, people don't want to be fundamentally challenged on what they're doing. And I, you know, as, as I wrote yeah. about in the book, like I've seen the losses. Like, 